Hey gang, it's Todd Gross and I'm logging into my video builder and getting ready to do a project and I want to show you what that project will involve. First of all, let me close that. Okay, it's using Flictive. Now Flictive makes animated GIFs that you could then import into video builder and you could actually also post them directly to social sites and do all kinds of neat things with them. But what I particularly want to show you is how to use them as elements within video builder and how easy it is to cook that up. So first of all, I have to say that one of the best things about Flictive is that there's already some ready-made videos inside that you could turn into these little cutesy animated GIFs. So let me show you what I mean. So if I actually click on this cinematic a couple of times here, this calls up this box, which allows you to either search YouTube or to upload a custom video that you already have ready or to get something from their library. Now, not all of their videos I found in the library were perfect for making cinema graphs, but some of them really are. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually browse for a video that I um, started to create earlier. So let me do that. I'm going to get a custom video that I picked off of YouTube and I took just a section of that video out. Um, it's based on the show Dance Moms, as a matter of fact. So let's see, it's right here. I'm going to open that up. And there it is. Now, um, we have to pick just a few seconds of this video, and I know it's somewhere towards the end. So let me click play at 16 seconds. Right there. You see how Maddie, one of the dancers, is dancing. And um, she was pretty much alone, so we'll be able to isolate her pretty well. So I'll go 16 to 19 seconds. And I'm choosing that video. Now watch what happens when I mask her out. Now I do create mask, okay, at the bottom here. I'm going to make the mask a little wider than normal. And then I'm going to try to pick everywhere that she could possibly be dancing without hitting this guy's head down there and without hitting the other dancers. So let's see, let's grab that star. There's no way to avoid that. Okay, so this whole section of the screen is going to animate. And the rest of the screen is going to stay frozen, giving us a very cool effect. All right. See how I'm masking this section. All right, as soon as I release this, it's going to start animating. So there you can see what I've done. Now, just to make it even, I think I'll grab a little bit more of the star over here. And where it says national over here, I'm going to try to grab that so it at least makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you could see the um, actual picture of what's going to be um, rendered. So we're going to hit render. And now it'll be a cleaner copy. Watch this when I click play. You see, there's our cinema graph how the um, dancers are all frozen. It's funny because sometimes they actually mimic that on this show and other dance shows that you've seen in ballet, etc. They sometimes all freeze on the stage except for just one dancer. And in this case, we've done that with software. <laughs> you know, we've, we've created that effect. All right, so we're going to save this now. Uh, let's down, well, first of all, notice this. You could post it to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, or your Facebook profile account. But we're going to download it and, and load it into Video Builder. Now, the idea is that in Video Builder, to include clips like this, it will make videos more interesting. It would be just part of a video. But in order to get it into Video Builder, we first have to go to the upper left-hand side into My Media. And in this case, let's click on the Animations folder. There's already animations in there um, that came, of course, with the program. But let's upload a file. And we're going to add a file. We're going to look for what we just took in just a moment ago. And that was under my desktop or was it downloads it may have been downloads yeah there it is okay we're going to upload that close this and there it is on the upper left we're going to drag it down to our timeline and now it is an element 
inside our timeline. Now, let's pick something else. Um, this is making croissants or crescent rolls. <laughs> it just happens to be in there already. Let's put it next to it. All right, and uh, let's play and watch what happens here. So here, this is an animation that was already included in Video Builder. But um, just seconds from now, you're going to see the dancers just pop up. And we'll, hopefully that will be seamless. And let's see what happens. And there it is. Our cinemagraph is now part of our Video Builder. Now we can make many different cinemagraphs and sprinkle them into a video that we are making for ourselves or for clients and it will capture attention. Now, if we want this to repeat over and over again, like it would since it's an animated GIF, uh, we could just back them up one next to each other. But basically, by stacking them like that, it's doing virtually the same thing. Now, to see how the file actually looks, how the video actually looks after it's created, since it changes a little bit in Video Builder, once you render it, let's do Create Movie. And we'll call this uh, test animate. And we'll make it a lower uh, video quality for now. And we'll create movie. It's ready already. Let's play it. Okay, there's that first clip of making crescent rolls. <laughs> you know, those things taste pretty good, actually. All right, now uh, this is going to flip into the dancers, and let's see how it looks. Well, that's good news. You see, even though in preview we were we saw like a black flash, we don't see it here. This looks just like it would as a cinemagraph. It just goes on and on, just like you saw. And of course, since we only played it four times, it's stopping right there. But that's very, very cool. So as you can see, you can actually stack a whole bunch of these together, and it'll be very cool in the end. And you know what? The, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, using this particular software that we just looked at, Flictive, you saw how many things you could do with it. You could post it to all those other locations. You could include it in an email like I do. In fact, you probably opened the email where I'm taking this video. It just came to me. I'm going to take this video and put it in the email to give you a little preview. I mean, things like that, just fantastic. Now, if you want to know how to put this in an email, that's one of the bonuses that I'm actually providing you as a Video Builder member. I'm going to teach you how to take a Flictive and put it in an email just like I do. That's a bonus. So enjoy.